Hi, everybody. Uh, he's going to be one of them. Um, we'll see if we start him or not, but uh, he's, he'll, he'll still be in the mix. We're not giving up on him. We've got to keep developing him, you know, uh, moving forward. So, you know, we have three or four guys that can do it. Tony? Yeah, he can do it. Are you planning yeah. to use him Sunday? Maybe. I mean, we gotta we gotta wait and see. It's uh, coach. Coach wants to get a look at him all week and then make a decision at game time. That's literally how it's gonna go. But I like what I see so far. He looks good. How much can you tell in a practice versus? Um, you could tell it, whether he's a good catcher. You could tell what kind of first step he has, um, and you could tell how his make you miss is is there. You know, and then we have punt return today, but that was kick return, right. and then we caught punts on. Uh, you know, on the jugs machine yesterday. So uh, today, today we'll learn a lot more, uh, a little bit more about him too. Sorry, I didn't mean to step on you. No, it's okay. uh, the, the make you miss part. Yeah. Is that something, you know he obviously has a lot of that, but is that something guys can kind of fall in love with? And you know, yeah, they you, they. You uh, guys get in trouble. Keep you know retreating, retreating. Is that it's you have to make you miss? Is like what what I mean by that is like some of that can see like the guys the coverage coming like he anticipated like Devin Hester does like like he, he anticipated it and was able to cut ahead of time or set something up, you know, and then, and then when the blocking, he kind of reads the blocking, you know, the exact way that the blocking is, is instead of just running somebody's back and, you know, that kind of thing. So you said yesterday that, you know, you guys talked to him a lot at the draft, that there was obviously some oh, yeah. there. Yeah. The draft, so I'm sure you did a lot of breakdown on him, but he kind of, he's kind of unique in how he cuts. He's strong know? too. You know, he's, he's, um, he's got really good vision and he's got great suddenness and he's very strong. You know, that's one of the things that uh, you know I talked to the, the special teams coach at the Giants too, and that's one of the, the first thing he said was how strong he was. So it's just, you know it's the same things that he's seen that we saw in college. So with, it's good. With Sky, um, how much of you know uh, his mistake in San Francisco, for example, is fundamental versus do you feel like he's battling confidence right now? Uh, I think it's a little bit of both. You know, right now, um, you know, you got to remember now he didn't he didn't do it. We were trying to create him. You know, we're not giving up on him. I mean, because he's got talent. He's in there. He's just got to get more confidence. Uh, he's got to catch more balls in games. You know, he could catch him on the on the jugs and stuff. But the games is is where it matters most. You know, you got that coverage coming down on you. It's it's uh, getting him reps, getting him reps in games. Um, you know, and just and then it'll build. It'll build for him. He's young. You know, so. Uh, we're not giving up on him. Could you mention uh, kick return now that Isaiah's doing a little bit more? Is is there an effort to find somebody else back there now? Why? I mean, he's doing well, right? I mean, I, mean, I don't want I don't want to get rid of him. I mean, he's, he's, with the cold, yeah, he, didn't, he would have to be off the first play. So that's that's kind of where that. Yeah, is. sure. Um, you know, I knew that question was coming, but I, you know, he's doing he's doing great. He keeps getting better. He had a great return, obviously, in that counter that we ran. Um, you know, and his confidence is getting better and better every time he does it, and his vision's getting better. You know, he still at, at, sometimes runs in the back of some people, but uh, you know, I, I want to keep using him until you know until they say we can't. You know, I mean, I I think he's uh, creates field position for our offense, and uh, it's good to have him back there. He runs strong. He, he's he's fun to watch. One one asked about Pacheco's big return to start the second half against San Francisco. Yeah. It seemed to really get momentum going. How important was that, and how can that get him going? Big. I mean, that, those, those kind of plays coming out of the second half, um, you know, that, that kind of set the tempo for our offense. I mean, we got that great field position, plus the penalty. I mean, the field position was unbelievable. Then the offense goes down and scores. And uh, that's what we feel like when, when we're clicking on all cylinders, we're a tough team to beat. I think that's that, that was an indicator of, you know, what we can be. David, Checo gets more involved in the running game, you know, with Andy starting him last week. What's the kind of other plan going forward? If you want to, if you want yeah, to I mean that's kind of, kind of what I was talking about. We'll we'll see. Um, you know, um, it, it'll it'll probably come from coach. I'm going to want to keep playing him, but that's being selfish, you know. Uh, but we do have other guys that can do it as well. You know, I mean, Sky he could be a, he could be a kick returner too. I mean, he's looked good in practice doing that. What do the Titans bring special teams wise? What they, how do you care? They're they're oh man, they are so tough. I mean, they're they're top eight. I think right now they're eighth in the league, you know, in the overall composite. Um, they, um, they're physical, you know, they have a the, the great return. They have a young rookie uh, kick returner that runs strong. Punt returner is excellent. You know, uh, punter is, uh, I think he's second to Tommy right now in the league as far as bombing the ball. I mean, he, he gets it down there far. Uh, so, you know, and, and they're, they're coached by Vrabel who, um, you know, he's a tough, tough-minded coach and, and his, 
his mentality kind of filters over into the team, and the team is so physical that we're going to have to bring our physical game uh, this weekend. Coach, with the Fenton trade, there's a little bit of a ripple effect of making sure Lamont's, Chris Lamont's is still here. Just how critical is he to your operation? He's, you know, he's obviously a, he's a, a core guy for us. He's a four phase player, plays on every phase just about, um, and he uh, he's critical as a, you know, as a gunner. He's, you know, he's our best gunner consistently. Uh, you know, and every once in a while we'll get Kemp up. Kemp is, you know, obviously a good player. You know, obviously, you know, last week he came up and he was our best player point production wise last week. So uh, anytime we can get Kemp. You know, in the in the mix, it, it makes us better. Yeah, go back to Sky Moore for a second. You said he's doing a nice job on the, on yeah. the jugs. So what's the adjustment from that to, to a game? Just reps. He's got to he just got to do it in the game. You know, and, and um, have success, uh, build confidence, um, see it on tape that the guys aren't right on you. You know, sometimes they they feel like they're right on you, but they're really not. You know, and I think that's you know a part of his hesitation is catching the ball low and getting his eyes up instead of keeping focused on the football. I mean. If you look at his cat, his misses, they all like he, he's got his eyes up and they're low catches, too low. You know, he's not catching the ball high enough, and he does he does a good job in practice with that. But it's the games. I'm not saying this is the case with the scab, like in baseball, right? Like judging the fly ball, some yeah. guys can do it, some guys. Everyone can get the only difference in baseball, you're not getting whacked by somebody running down the field. <laughs> and that's a but, big difference. So, it's a big. It's one. you and the ball. Yeah. And I try, I tell him that all the time. It's you and the ball, but. Yeah. <laughs> but is there, a, you know, some guys can and some guys can't. Right? You obviously feel that he can. He wouldn't I, put him out there. But yeah, is, I, is there? I still know, think he can, and and he wants to do it. That's the thing. I mean, he's not shying away from it. I said that before. He wants to do it. You know, and we're going to keep working him, and we'll get him back in there when we can. You mentioned during training camp that Trent might be your most sure-handed. Yes. Yeah. Now he's just coming back, so we're just kind of yeah. slow playing him. But yeah, he's another guy that can do it. Uh, you know, we'll we'll work him again today, obviously, and just but you know, he's he's just coming back, so <laughs> we don't want to put too much on his plate right now. But he's a guy. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.